Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome to Sonic Mania. Also the island on the bottom of the screen is Sonic's face, just made in the textures of the game. So here we go. Now I'm, I haven't had much experience with Sonic games during my lifetime, but I used to have the Sonic Classic Collection for DS, but then I lost it not long after getting it. So I, I really haven't had much experience with classic Sonic style games. But anyway, this game uses an autosave feature, so we can't quit or turn off the power when this icon is displayed on the bottom right of the screen. But anyway, that's fine. But anyway, let's go into Mania mode. And we can start a new file. We can start with Sonic and Tails. Or just Sonic, just Tails, or Knuckles. Which I'm pretty sure Knuckles plays very differently, and we're probably just going to want to play with Sonic and Tails for this, because Tails is actually really useful, even though you don't play as him. But anyway, we can also go into the game options. We can turn off the uh, the time loop, or just leave it on, which I'm just going to leave it on since it's not that bad. We also have Sonic's ability, which is, I believe, different abilities that you get depending on other stuff. But we can switch it from Mania to different games, which we can unlock by getting tokens. Uh, but for now, we're also just going to start. Also, in that, that video that played before, I love how the elevator is from level 1, 2, 3, K, and then M, because it's Sonic, the Hedgehog, 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, and then Mania, of course. But anyway, let's get started on this, because this is going to be very interesting. We have the opening from Sonic the Hedgehog 3, but then we have this, which is different. Eggbots get a gem, which changes everything around us. And now the Eggbots leave, and we're now in Green Hill Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Sorry, let's get started. We can run around and jump, which when we're in ball form, slash jump form, spin form, whatever, we damage enemies, but when we're not in spin form, we're just regular Sonic running around like this, we'll get hit by things. And we'll take damage, which is not good, not a good thing. But we can also run and then press down to spin a little bit, which is good. If we get hit by anything, we lose all our rings. Which is a shame, because rings are useful. We can pick them up again after we drop them, but they're most likely going to only get like a an eighth of what you have, maybe. Uh, but if you don't have any rings and you get hit, you will die, so don't do that. But yeah, we can... That's basically how this whole thing works. There are a lot of different ways to go in each level. This is a checkpoint, which has a shiny ring above it, that we're not going to look at just yet. We're going to go this way, though. 
with the branching paths because there's some other things we'll need to be doing as we go through the game as well. Obviously, as you can see right now, whenever we're in uh, ball form, when we're, whenever we're running, we actually go really fast down slopes. That's a good way to build up speed. And I want to do that as much as possible. If you get 100 rings, you get an extra 1-up at the bottom left of the screen. I believe it counts... Um, zero lives as your last life. Also, we just broke a box that gave us a fire shield, which means that we can jump and then press the jump button again to do a little fire dash, which is useful. Uh, Eggman boxes, though, I believe hurt you, so you don't want to touch those. I think you can only break um, the boxes in spin form, so you have to jump onto them. Careful of the spikes. Basically, everything hurts you. If you've got a shield, though, if you get hit, you don't drop your rings, which is useful. Anyway, I need to jump out of my spin form sometimes. And I believe if we go over here a little bit more, we can go into this ring here and go to a special stage. We need to catch the UFO, so we have to collect these blue orbs on the ground. We can also jump if we need to. Uh, but we have... A limited amount of time to be in here, which we can extend by collecting rings, so we'll want to do that. And as we collect these blue orbs, we'll get faster and get to Mach 2. I need to make sure I keep collecting rings though, because otherwise I'm going to run out of time. I believe the faster you get with the more, more blue orbs you have, the less time you have, or the way the faster time goes down. So you want to be quick and catch up to the UFO as quickly as possible taking shortcuts if you can, and then just get close enough to it and you win. Sonic got a Chaos Emerald. It's one out of seven down, we've got a green one. You can also get a score bonus from rings and mock speed, so... But that's basically how it's gonna go, and it's gonna be very important to collect all of those eventually, but we're probably not gonna do it in one go, so we're gonna... We're gonna have a few tries at this, all careful. Let's grab this invincibility with its great music. Also, careful of those enemies in the walls, because they're really, really not obvious, and you're probably gonna be in trouble. But anyway, in each level, or each act of a level, there's a boss at the end that we need to take out to be able to progress, and each one is, should be different. Oh my goodness. Gonna be careful. Which, the useful thing about fighting bosses with tails is you can actually um, have tails do damage to it as well. We can also jump into this, this goal, I don't know, picture? I don't know what it is. This goal sign, and we get it to extend how long it's in the air, depending on which way we hit it. And I believe sometimes it will give you a item box when it hits the ground, depending on how you hit it. Possibly, I don't know, everything. But it does give us 100 extra points as well for doing it. We get a time bonus, ring bonus, and cool bonus at the end of an act, though. Sonic got through Act 1, and now, for Green Hill Zone Act 2, in each level's Act 2, it's usually fairly dif different, and that's probably the bit I like about each level, is just the Act 2. And also the music changes, it's just so good. But anyway, we can explore a little bit and get an extra life in that box, and a invincibility out of that one. So let's go up this way now. We also lose all of our rings at the start of a new zone, so it's a bit of a shame. But now I think I want to go up. I don't know where all of the 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 special rings are, but I'm gonna get the ones that I do know if I can. There's just so many branching branching paths that you'll probably just find them eventually anyway. There's this one there. I don't know how to get in that though. Probably some way that's down below to get into it. Maybe? Oh, somewhere up there, I think. Although I don't think I can get back up there from here, which is not very good, because... Yeah, I, I really can't go back now. Not very well, at least. But anyway, with our flame shield, we can actually also burn this platform here, which is strange. Uh, but there's also... Oh, careful of those. And everything else. Flame shield back there if you didn't have one before. And if we go down here, there's actually a whole bunch of ring boxes, so we can get those, and an extra life as well. 
get two extra lives because of having 100 rings as well. I don't know how to go through that hole there, and it's... I don't know what's back there. Oh, I also never got into this before. Oh, we got it. Speed shoes, which means we can go fast now for a, a short amount of time. So let's go super fast, running on walls and all that. I feel like this is the wrong way to go for stuff, but oh well. How just lost all my rings. As long as you have one ring, you won't die when you get hit. Oh my goodness. I don't like losing all my rings when I get hit once. It's probably one of the reasons why I haven't played many Sonic games before. But anyway, we're almost at the end of this act, I believe. Just need a little bit more. I didn't get any of the bonus special rings in this area. Actually, I believe there's one right here. Sometimes there are multiple in a level, but I, I don't... I can't confirm that there's multiple in, in every level. Although I haven't actually found them all before, so... Anyway, let's try to keep up with this UFO. We can also jump... Uh, and as we're turning when we jump, we actually turn weird. We just turn weird in general, though, in these levels, so... I feel like it was a mistake to go the way that he went. Because we need to focus... Oh, I didn't see those there the first time I played this game. Ooh, don't fall off the edge, otherwise you will also get kicked out of the special stage. And whenever you get kicked out, you have to find another special ring, which is... Annoying, but also probably a good thing at the same time. Okay, I'm going to go this way now. That was a terrible pass of those orbs. I need to hurry up because the thing's getting further away from me. But those... Those... Oh my goodness. Those item box type things have different icons on them. But the ring ones give you more rings, obviously. Uh, but they also bounce you whenever you touch, hit them. Which is good. Uh, but if you can bounce into some of them, like the blue ones, the blue orb ones, which give you more mock speed, or the up ones, the up arrow ones, the up arrow ones actually upgrade your mock speed by a level automatically. So they're, they're really good. I'm about to run out of time on this because I don't have enough rings. This is not, not great. And I need to still catch up to that UFO quickly. Oh my goodness, that was a bad jump, but it's still okay because I'm catching up slowly, hopefully. If you turn and jump around corners, you can kind of keep up with things. Okay, we're so close now, come on. I want to first try these as much as possible, okay. We got two Chaos Emeralds now. A green one and a yellow one. Those levels are really difficult for people who have not played this game before. So don't don't feel bad if you have trouble going through this game. Sonic games can be a little bit a little bit brutal sometimes, considering they also just take away all of your rings when you whenever you get hit by something. Anyway, we have an Eggman boss now. In his robot. We need to dodge his targeting thing. Which drops egg bombs on us. But also, if we can all oh, be very careful. Oh come on. If we can use this platform here, we can actually jump onto him to do some damage. He also has a second attack where he launches his hand at you, which you can stand on his arm, which is... Oh, careful. Interesting. Something else we need to keep in mind is we have a, a timer at the top of the screen, and whenever that gets to 10 minutes, we instantly die. Oh my goodness. He can also break blocks with his attacks. So let me hit you, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Like that. Can I just jump at him? Not very well. I need that ring. Give me the ring. Okay. Jump. Come on, Tails. Thank you. Behind him is a good spot to be, but also not at the same time. Okay, jump. Come on, you're always going fast now. And there we go. He's done. Whenever your boss... Whenever the boss explodes and... Into nothingness. That's the end of a boss. Anyway, at the end of the second act, we get to open up one of these boxes and release all the animals inside.
Going through time again. And now, we're in Chemical Plant Zone, which I think, if I'm not wrong, is from Sonic 2. I'm probably wrong about that. But this is basically my Nemesis level from my childhood. Just because I was not good at getting through some of the sections in this level. Oh, I could have gone up there if I stayed up on that for a little bit longer. But yeah, there's underwater areas, which is this purple area. And if you don't get out of the, the purple whatever it is, quickly enough, you will run out of air, which is probably one of the- ah, oh, I've never- I don't think I've seen this one before. If you don't get out of the water quickly enough, you will drown, basically, and the music gets a little bit crazy when you get to that point as well. Okay, let's go. Let's see if I can get this. I'm gonna be amazed if I can actually get all the Chaos Emeralds first try in this run. I don't think I want to, though, because there's cutscenes that I want to show that only happen if you don't get all of the Chaos Emeralds, so... Considering I only started playing this game recently, I'm doing fairly well. You also have to be careful of the edges of some of these areas, because they've actually got walls that are flat on the ground that you can still bump into and bounce you back, so... Be careful of that. Oh, I'm low on rings. I need to catch up now. Also grab some of these rings. Oh, there's a wall. That's, that, that's what I was talking about. Oh my goodness, turn around. Go through the middle. Where is it? There. Go, 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 go. You can take different paths to get different things. Come on, we're so close now. Also, if you touch one of the spike balls that are just around, you will drop rings, so that's really bad. Come on, I'm so close. If I can get the first three at least, first try, oh my goodness. Just these levels, I remember being super difficult my first time through, so. Anyway, we've got the blue one now. Let's go back into Chemical Plant Zone. So I think I can actually go over this way? No, I can't. Sometimes you can go over to the other side of an area. Oh my goodness. The other thing I don't like about these, these games is if you get in between an object that's going down, you can get crushed, instantly dying, no matter how many rings you have. And it's very easy to get crushed without even having that much above you, basically. Anyway. If we hold down and then press the jump button to spin, we can actually keep pressing it over and over to build up speed, which is good for us because it means we can go into higher area. Oh my goodness, I just lost those rings, never mind. But that's a useful way to get up to things if you need to. I should have gone the other way and find out what was on top of that item box area. Let's go up here. I think we might have gone maybe faster way, possibly. Probably not though. There are different ways to go through each level, so... I'm gonna try them all out to see if I can find... ...as many of the special rings as possible. I love these bits where you just have to go fast, and don't have to do anything. It's so nice. Oh, I could have gone up there if I was better. Oh, careful of those balls, and let's go. That's a thing to make us go faster. And here we are back at this kind of area. Needs to be careful not to get crushed. Which is so easy to do, so I don't know how to how the best way to avoid it is. Especially there. That bit does not make sense when it crushes you. Because you can fit in that space without getting crushed. Anyway, enough raging at Sonic because that's just how I do sometimes. Oh, so close to getting up there. Oh, don't do that this time. I learned my lesson from last time. Just go up normally. Somewhat. Okay, got that air. Let's go up here. I really hope I don't have to worry about the drowning music. Oh, darn. Nope. I fell. That bit there is evil. This bit, this entire area at this point is evil because you have to go slow to try and not fall. 
The game encourages you to go fast, but it also wants you to go slow in some specific areas. Oh, there's the drowning music. You see what I mean by it being terrifying? And if you've never heard that music before, it's in a lot of Sonic games. This is the bit that usually got me when I was younger. Just need to be careful of this platform over here since it turns over. This bit here and back again. So we just need to make it past that and we're good. Pretty much. Speed through this. I like going to ball form by pressing down as we're sliding to go faster. Okay, we're good. Just gonna grab more rings just to make sure. Even if I don't get a 1-up, it still means that I can have a better chance of recollecting them after I get hit by something. Okay, up we go, and let's keep on going. And we're at the boss, so here we go. Also, I like this boss theme. It's super basic and... I don't know, it just sounds slightly goofy, but also... not at the same time? I don't know, it just sounds... It, it, it appeals to me in a strange way. I don't know. Anyway, we need to dodge its orbs rotating it, or orbiting it, that's one. If we can. But, otherwise, we just need to hit it and we're done. Let's drop that on the ground. I don't know what the cool bonus is, but I'm assuming it has something to do with not getting hit and going fast-ish, possibly. But anyway, chem Chemical Plant Zone Act 2 is really cool. Immediately the music changes, and we also have this blue liquid that changes colour as we inject it with something, which makes it bouncy. And if we inject it with the green stuff, it makes it even bouncier, and we can actually go way up here. Oh, hello. This, this guy grabs you, but if you have tails, he usually helps you out. Usually. I want to get that, though. Come on, give me the rings. Thank you. I don't know if there's a way to jump higher, but it's fine. Let's go. Okay, jump out of that. We, if we stay in this bubble here, it takes us up, and let's go over this way now. You have to be careful when you're attacking an enemy as well, because part of its body sometimes, part of some, some of them, part of their body will hurt you differently from the rest. But anyway, let's go this way. Depending on which side on that thing you go into, you actually go a different way. And now we need to pick a direction, so let's go left. I think that was a good choice. That was a pretty good choice, actually. Now we need to jump at the right time to avoid the spikes there, and let's go fast. Oh, and we knocked that above us, which means we can actually take it up. Oh my goodness, of course I got hit by its tail. Okay, where's this taking me? Oh, it's taking me places. It's definitely taking me places. Let's go. I think, go through here, maybe? Maybe. Uh, yes. I think. I don't know where I am, but I'm going places. That's all I need to know. And some of these levels just... Like, you can't really think about it in... a linear way, because there are so many different ways to go that all lead to the same place, basically. Now, I need to be careful of this blue liquid down there, because that will actually hurt us. Let's bounce up here. I love those springboards as well. Now, I need to be careful over here, because this enemy is annoying. So, I'm just going to get past that without even attacking it. Knock that, and let's go up here again. I feel like it's a good thing to go this way, possibly. But I also have to get through here without falling down. So let's go up here, and there's another special ring. So let's see how this goes. Okay, we've got fish everywhere. And I think this one is a interesting one, because I think it encourages you to actually get the rings as soon as possible. It's more of an endurance thing rather than a... Oh, I course out, because I fell out of the course. I was trying to get that ring box down there, but nope. That's what happens when you fail, basically. And I'm going to fail a lot, because those special stages are pretty difficult. 
Especially when I just mess up because I jump too early. There's plenty of chances to get them again though, sir. There's more than seven, sir. Definitely more than seven, so we're, we're, we're super good. Gonna jump early so I can get those rings, and then I immediately lost them, and I jumped into the special ring here. Different kind of special ring. Where we get to do collect the blue orbs from Sonic the Hedgehog 3. This is how you're supposed to get the Chaos Emeralds in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, but in this, this game it just gives us special tokens. So, let's collect all these. We have to turn at each of these places. If we get all the blue rings around the edge of a group, that is not just a one thing wide, we can actually turn them into turn them all into rings, which we will need to collect possibly for gold tokens. But I'm not going to be able to do that because I, I have not been able to do that before. I don't feel like I'm good enough to do that, so... Oh, nope. And if you hit those star orbs, they bounce you back. And then you start going backwards, which is really, really difficult to control because you have to... You have to hit another bouncer behind you so you go forward again. But anyway. And now... For the boss, which we get to play Poyo Poyo Tetris for. Which... I'm... Well, Poyo Poyo. Not Tetris, technically? Kind of? Maybe? I don't know. But anyway, we need to match up stuff as best as possible. If we can tower stuff as well, that would be great. That was a really perfect first lineup, but I don't really want... I don't really want it like that. I want it... I, I wish I could Chaos Tower in this, but I don't think it's designed for actual Chaos Towering, unfortunately. So we're just gonna go normally. You can Chaos Tower, kind of. But you have to make it in a very specific way to actually get it to combo stuff repeatedly. Unfortunately. Okay, let's put that there. Let's put this there. Oh, giving me some junk stuff. Oh my goodness. This is going to be interesting. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Um, let's put that over there for now. Just because I don't know what else to do. If I could get what I need right now, that'd be great. But it's not really being that nice to me right now. Oh, oh my goodness. That was the one spot I needed that to be open in. That's unfortunate. Well, let's figure out a way to fix that then. Um, put that there. I can combo the purple, that'd be good. Oh my goodness, I'm about to die. Oh, this is really bad. This is probably the worst I've ever done at this boss, because I usually get it a lot earlier than this, but I was trying to combo as best I could, and I couldn't. Oh, please. Okay. That's, that's good. I can bring it back, maybe, if I'm very lucky. Very lucky, come on. This is absolutely chaos. Okay, that's good. Combos, combos, good. Oh, I wish I could combo more. They've got a lot of stuff on their side, luckily. So I might be able to bring this back. If I bring this back, though, I'm gonna be amazed. For many reasons. Okay, this is good. Let's put that... Nope, I... Apparently I won that. Because it, I... Yeah. You win whenever you run... You win whenever the other person runs out of space. But anyway, that was... Chemical... Plant Zone. We can also press a button to skip that as it's going down. And now we're up to Studiopolis Zone. Which has some great music. But I think that's where we're going to pause for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.